Hi guys, uh, I can't explain to you uh, just how happy I am right now. Um, you know, some of you might know just how difficult it's been to source or identify rims and wheels and tires for the Bolt EV. Uh, part of it is, you know, the the bolt pattern is very unique. The bore pattern is very unique. So it's five by 105 millimeter and a 56.6 millimeter center bore and those aren't common to find right now especially not in aftermarket um, and uh, I don't know if you'll remember my previous video I'll try and put a link to it but I pulled one of the stock tires or t stock wheels and tires off the the Bolt EV and weighed it and it weighed in on at about 45 pounds uh, which is actually very heavy uh, for a somewhat narrow, low rolling resistance tire and what looks like a very simple uh, cast aluminum rim that's only six and a half inches wide. The, the, that's a very high weight, especially considering uh, Tire Rack lists that tire as being a, a uh, 20 pounds or 21 pounds which would make the rim 25 pounds. I don't actually believe that. I, I think maybe they're not accounting for the goo on the inside, um, which apparently adds a significant amount of weight, and it adds the weight on the periphery of the tire, which uh, you know physicists will be able to tell you why that's that's bad. But yeah, the 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 rotation. You don't want the weight at the outer end of the rotation. It takes a lot more energy. Um, to overcome that rotational inertia. Um, but anyway, so I um, feel like I just discovered what's probably the best, um, I'll say aftermarket tire, but or aftermarket wheel, but it really isn't because uh, um, it's going to be used, but it's definitely the best. Um, in case you guys are wondering, yeah, th that's my uh, vintage Smith Corona 1903 A3 stock um, yeah, I'm a Civil War reenactor. <clears throat> uh huh. Yeah, so like five of you will get that joke. But anyway, so I got this uh this set and uh, I got it for really cheap and I decided to do some looking and investigating and I'm going to try it out and I'm very excited uh, to see what happens. So, uh, first and foremost. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and weigh it for you guys, and I I know this uh, scale is accurate because uh, you know it it told me I was far heavier than I should be earlier, so I at least know it's set in there. Uh, shameless plug from Timberland, I guess. But let me go ahead and put the wheel tire on there. Let it just settle. So uh, thirty six point four pounds. Hmm, that's about nine pounds less than the stock wheel and tire. Let me tell you, that is significant. That is very significant. If you're if you're dropping nearly forty pounds, now part of it is again, this isn't the stock tire. Uh, this is uh, the the Fuel Assurance Max. If you guys actually uh, can see the tread pattern or if you could identify it by looking at it, but I'm sure most of you couldn't. So you know this is a what this is is a 17 by 7 forged aluminum rim so forging is very important because it actually adds strength so you require less material for the same amount of strength like i said just from what i saw of the bolt ev's stock rim at least on the lt trim it looks cast so that adds a lot of weight and um it doesn't necessarily add any strength to it so this this rim is both half an inch wider and it's uh, the same diameter yet it's apparently significantly lighter so we won't know until we break apart the uh, the rim and tire for the stock Bolt EV and weigh them separately I have a feeling the stock rim just looking at it is probably about 22 pounds would be my guess for the Bolt EV which means that there's about three pounds of weight in the uh, tire, the Michelin energy saver that's not being accounted for from the uh, 
from the uh, uh, goo that they have on the inside of the periphery of the tire. So now um, you might be asking, well, where the heck, who, who made this wonderful forged alloy rim that fits the bolt EV or well should fit and we'll all do the fitment tomorrow and kind of post up some videos. I have a decent amount of driving to do tomorrow so uh, I might as well show that off. But who did it? Bowtie did it. Now this is the other hang up for some people. They might not like this rim just from the design. Uh, it's a 15 spoke rim. Um, and it's a polished aluminum. I'm not a huge fan of polished aluminum, but I'm gonna put it on the Bolt EV and see how it looks. Um, maybe it's okay, maybe it's not, but um, this is, you know, what you get. So uh, it's actually uh, from, dun dun dun, the Cruise Echo. So they came up with special rims for the Cruise Echo. It's 17 by seven. Uh, five uh, by one 105 millimeter 56.6 center bore all the standard that you get um, with a lot of the GM uh, vehicles right now and so this should fit the Bolt EV perfectly now instead of having a plus 44 offset like the Bolt EV's stock rims it has a plus 42 but that should be fine because you're adding a half an inch of a uh, of width. Now, another surprise, and here I didn't know this before, so um, I'm going to have to do some full press disclosure. But if you come in here and read, this is actually forged and created by Alcoa. Now, why I have to uh, be completely forthright is uh, I actually own quite a few shares of Alcoa and Arconic. So, uh, just so you're aware, I you know that 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 bias might exist, but I do like them as a company. But again, you see 17 by 7 uh, and a 42 offset J rim, just the same. Uh, which is, the J that number actually indicates the lip design, so it's not a big deal. Most most are are, are J now, and then there's a GM part number uh, 20982450. Um, and of course the GM logo because this is uh, stamped and created by Alcoa for GM probably would now be Arconics. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so this is going to drop nine pounds per corner. I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, these aren't the tires that I think I'll want long term because part of the reason why I did this is I was getting a little frustrated with the stock tires just in terms of grip and performance and these are going to be worse. <laughs> uh, I, I had the Ener uh, f yeah, the Fuel Assurance Max. Um, let me see if I can get enough light to to actually focus in on these. Yeah, the, the Goodyear Fuel Assurance Max. Um, and uh, yeah. I had them on the on my Volt. They're still on, actually. Um, my first generation Volt, and maybe I'll pull these off so I have spares for that. That might be what I eventually do for these. But um, but essentially, I, I I don't really care for these tires all that much. Uh, they're not great, but they are low rolling resistance. So um, so they they'd be a downgrade from the Michelins, but uh, they they still probably shouldn't cost me too much in terms of mileage and efficiency. But here's the other thing: these are sized differently. Uh, instead of a 815 rotations per mile that the stock Bolt EV tires have, these have 795. So that's about a two and a half percent difference. Uh, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference uh, for most people. Um, you know, what it means is if you drive 100 miles according to your speedometer, um, you know, or how should I say, if you actually drive 100 miles, your speedometer will only say like 97.5. So it's going to make it appear as though you drove fewer miles, but it's also going to make it appear as though you're 2.5% more efficient. Um, and the other thing is too, you know how the Bolt EV has a uh, a uh, um, max speed of 93 miles an hour. Well, this will add about two miles an hour to that max speed. Um, I actually think these are going to be. I kind of want to take this to the uh, 
put these on the Bolt EV and, and, and take it to the uh, drag strip because uh, I think it would actually significantly improve the quarter mile time because your trap speed would be about 95 miles an hour instead of 93. Um, and again, you just shaved 40 pounds of rotational mass. Yeah, this is going to be good. Anyway, so um, just talking through this video sharing, I wanted to give it to you guys so you guys know what I'm up to. Um, also, you're going to notice if you look up that part number and you try and find this, this is going to be a very expensive tire or a very expensive wheel, sorry. Uh, the, the part number, they're going to want about $250 to $300 per wheel. I got all four of these wheels and tires for just over $300. Benefits of being in the LA area, but, you know, check your local Craigslist. You never know. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll put more videos on this as, as this progresses. But, um, you know, in the, in the meantime, I'll, you'll find me at Appomattox. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll update you when I can. Woohoo!